While we should strive to minimize air, water, and land pollution, there is no need to concern ourselves about carbon dioxide. What carbon dioxide is, is essential for life on Earth. Plants eat it, it is plant food, and in fact, as carbon dioxide has increased in the air over the last 50 years, plants have grown better, more vigorously, faster, farmers have gotten a little extra bounty in their crops for free because there's more carbon dioxide in the air. Without carbon dioxide, there would not be life on Earth. We wouldn't be here. It is essential to us. Okay, research has shown that increases of CO2 concentration of two, three, four, five times would not have a detrimental effect upon the Earth's biosphere. University of Ottawa geology professor Dr. Jan Weiser has recently demonstrated that changes in atmospheric carbon dioxide have had little effect on Earth's long-term temperature in comparison with natural causes. The thick blue line at the top of this graph shows the changes in carbon dioxide in the past half billion years. The red line below is a plot of temperatures found by Professor Weiser. Over this time frame, there is no meaningful correlation between carbon dioxide levels and Earth's temperature. In fact, when CO2 levels were over 10 times higher than they are today, about 450 million years ago, our planet was in the depths of the absolute coldest period in the last half billion years. But what about the ice core records of the past half million years that show CO2 levels and temperature moving in lockstep? When we look at the ice core record here from Vostok in Antarctica, we see that the temperature record and the CO2 record from these ancient atmospheres follow very closely one to another. But when we look more closely at the detail, we see that the temperature record increases first the CO2 record lags the temperature by up to 800 years. In other words, CO2 is acting as a result of temperature rise and not a cause of temperature increase. When the Vikings were sailing in Arctic waters and when the Vikings were farming in, in Greenland in soil that's now permanently frozen, uh, the question is then what caused that warming? It certainly wasn't human-produced CO2. And temperatures have not followed CO2 levels even in the 20th century. In fact, the world has been generally cooling since 1998 despite the continuing rise in CO2. And then to add insult to injury to this idea that uh, the, the influence of CO2 on climate, we actually had a decline in temperature from the 1940s through to about the late 1970s to about 1980. When all this while, CO2 levels were increasing like crazy all around the world. CO2 is not the major greenhouse gas anyway. In fact, if you wanted to categorize greenhouse gases, to paraphrase a colleague of mine, he says that uh, greenhouse gas number one, two, three, and four is water vapor, uh, with carbon dioxide would be a distant five. That celestial forcing of climate is the most important influence on our climate, with CO2 has an influence, but it's certainly not uh, significant enough for, to, uh, for us to worry about. On the basis of this evidence, how could anyone still believe that the recent relatively small increases in CO2 levels that you see in figure three of your handout would be the major cause of the past century's modest warming? But didn't the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, conclude that human activities are causing disastrous climate change? No, they did not. Most government and media get the wrong impression by only reading the summaries for policymakers, the alarmist and misleading overviews of the IPCC's science reports. Now this summary for policymakers isn't a summary for policymakers at all, it's a summary by policymakers. In other words, it is a summary which is agreed line by line by government representatives. But didn't the IPCC establish that our release of greenhouse gases caused the past century's modest warming? They have not established that greenhouse gases are warming the, the Earth. And what's more, in Chapter 1, there is a statement by the author of that chapter which states very clearly that in their opinion, there is, although there have been changes in the climate, they could very well be natural. One of the biggest spoofs of the ICPCC is that they try and play down the fact 
that the main greenhouse gas in the atmosphere is water vapour.